Just kanina, ay magmalen, kosentras kanina. Sinabi ko kung gabi, nanang kung gabi na, hindi pa pala. Yung broadcast lang. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to greet my parents, my mother, of course, uh, for swearing me in and for bringing me in to this world. Thanks for birthing me. I wouldn't be on this stage if it weren't for you in more ways than one. To my dad, thank you for showing me how to be a kind and compassionate gentleman. I may never be the man you are, but I will always aspire to be. To my stepmom and my stepdad as well, I would like to greet them. To my best half, uh, to my peace and to my joy, to Jamie, uh, thank you for always being by my side. To my kuya is kuya. I couldn't ask for a more supportive kuya. Um, who used to change my diapers and now I get to see you change your son's diapers. Thank you, Momo. To my uncles and aunts who are here, to my half-siblings, to my mama Melmi, our forever first lady, Imelda Rodriguez Marcos, to my uncles and aunts, and to my cousins, and to my entire family, uh, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. To our congressman, my Tito, Amelo Marcos Barba, thank you for showing humility and dedication in public service. To my beloved cousin Sid, you have shown in the last few months that you are more than a K-pop face. You deserve true credit. Uh, my cousin and my brother, you have gone down to the grassroots level. You have shown a diligence and a drive that uh, is worthy of your seat. And your seat is well earned. Congratulations, Congressman Sanford. Our dear Vice Governor, my tita, who insists that I call her Ate. Uh, our Vice Governor, the beloved Cecilia Renata Marcos. Uh, my dear Bocales, Pasencia na po. I will not uh, name you one by one. To our mayors and vice mayors, our councillors, our dear Capitanes, that po, na concejales and barangay officials. My friend, you sent Earl Saavedra. I'm not sure where you are, but I'd like to greet you. Our executive judge, Naida Alejandro, to our friends from the Office of the Clerk of Courts, in the judiciary. To our friends from the Consulate of the People's Republic of China, led by Consul Zhou Yongbin. Thank you for being by our side in the pandemic. Um, you have always uh, shown a true willingness to be of help through the Hos Norte. And uh, we will never forget your generosity amidst the pandemic. Thank you, Consul Joe. To our officials from the law enforcement agencies, I know my friend, R.D. Patrick Swayze, and P.B. Julius. To all of the officials from the various national government agencies, to our presidents and leaders in the academia, to our entire deputy family led by our superintendents, our religious groups, those from the private sector, social civic groups, tourism stakeholders, and transport groups, our friends from the media. My 
Peter Chona and company from LA, Attorney Riz, to all, to Ashley and our friends from Vice, to all of my kakaibiyan and to all of our guests. Unang una, sa sopa ko po, in my sopa, in January I think it was, I failed to mention my dear department heads. Kaya ngayon po, babawi po ako sa inyo because uh, you have the hardest task of all. You make me look good. Kaya all of our success at the provincial government and all of my success as your provincial governor is in large part due to our department heads and to everyone at the provincial government with all of our debt and to each and every LGU sa buong provincia. Um, Siyudad, Municipio, at Barangay, maraming salamat po. Una-una, our my Executive Assistant, Irene, my Chief of Staff, Attorney Pancho, all those at the Office of the Vice Governor, then my Vice Governor, Cecilia Hernanda Marcos, the SP Office, then by Mom Mildred, the Provincial Administration Office, led by Attorney Yvette, the Treasury Office, then by Mom Josie, the Budget Office, led by Mom Leia, the Accounting Office, led by Mom Mercy, PPDO, led by Engineer Pete, the Legal Office, led by Attorney Hermie, the Assessor's Office, led by Engineer Hermie, PSWDO led by Mom Lillian Rin, PDO led by Engineer Lucy Domingo, PTO led by Mr. Ayan, and special mention to the Ilocos Norte Tourism Office who has put together this event and made our Centennial Arena beautiful. Congratulations. Our HR office, led by Mom Fesciasa, our provincial jail, led by Mom Madilda, our GSO, led by Mom Miriam, our PVET, led by Dr. Aloida, our office of the provincial agriculturist, led by Mom Terry, our PBRMO, led by Marcel, Sir Marcel, our PHO, led by Dr. Joy, our grandma, led by Dr. Wally, Bangi Hospital, led by Dr. Elvin of Marisa, Marcos Hospital, led by Dr. Ruth. The Grass Hospital, led by Dr. Rolando Andres. The Dick Hospital, led by Dr. Chona Rapa. And Vintar Hospital, led by Dr. Ireneo Bayudan. To our division, Sloba, led by Alem. CMO, led by Jervy. INYDO, led by Willie. MSMEO led by Mom Elba, Invest led by Mom Soya, Big led by Attorney Nikki, Gad led by Mom Janet, Pina led by Mom Elba, SDC led by Mom Luz, RIT led by Windsor Willie, Peso led by Mom Liz, Pinatora and Juan, our Education Office led by Dr. Danny Kamiwang. Enro, led by Chris Tapio, INSTO, led by Mom Helen, our library, led by Eric Coloma, our executive director for our hospitals, Dr. Rodelio Bagbag, our consultants, Mary, attorney Tonton, and engineer, Judith. From the bottom of my heart, to each and every one of you at the provincial government, uh, of course, our debt debts to everyone at PGIN, all the way down the ranks. Just yet, we now talk about the phone and Papa Salamat sa inyo. Another question, na po, you have been for another three years. Wala ko na yung choice. But thank you once again. Almost three years have passed since I took my oath as your governor. In that same year, we found our province ravaged by a tropical storm, and
And not long after, we were confronted by a pandemic like no other. But we have come a long, long way. We called upon government workers, the healthcare sector, the private sector, volunteers, who answered the call and went above and beyond. As a community, we came together to safeguard our people and make sure their needs were met. Agyamanak kanyayo amin. The result of all of your efforts is a safer and stronger home for every Ilocano. On this day, we again commit to forge forward. We again the agricultura. We have made great progress in agriculture. Our investments in the last two years in infrastructure and equipment have bolstered the productivity and profitability of our dear farmers. These include 272 small farm reservoirs, or SFRs, totaling 544 hectares. Five small water impounding projects, totaling 215 hectares. 18 multi-purpose dry pavements, 64 tractors, 8 combine harvesters, and 12 tobacco curing barns. We invested over 562 million pesos in the last two years for agricultural machineries, equipment, and inputs. Our partners at the Department of Agriculture have also committed a trading post for our produce and two cold storage facilities, one for tomatoes and one for fish. We will continue our shift to high-value crops, or HVCs, such as garlic, mango, dragon fruit, shallots, onions, and tobacco. For we know these HVCs are more marketable than palay. Sa mga mandawan po natin, we assure you of our full service assistance from pre-planting to marketing to, pro to produce more